Well, right now I just ventured into growing hydroponically. I've done all the other methods that you, know, you can do for growing. I grew in the ground, I grew in containers, I grew in greenhouses out in the fields. This is a much cleaner environment, much easier to maintain. You know, crops are a lot cleaner. A lot of this stuff is going on a trial and I didn't know how long it was going to take or, or be ready. So what I'm doing is I have a mass emailing list with what I have available at the time and we're just going through different greens every single week, 20 different types of stuff and by the way this stuff's growing, it's going to be, you know, I'm going to have a lot to offer to that. It worked out very well because I have everything set up for three quarter and you brought me a three quarter setup and basically all I did was disconnect one of the feed lines that was coming out of uh, my ball valve there and I screwed in your system right into where I would screw in my fitting that would come out of the, that ball valve and you know it took me all of probably 10 minutes to, to, to put it up. By using that it was making the micronutrients more available to the plants where they had a problem without it. What was normally taking me about two weeks to transplant them, I can cut it down probably another three or four days, I'm taking a week off the plant on an overall length of time on a five week cycle. Saving time, I'm saving money, and the plants look really nice. They were not as green. As soon as I put that magnetic water device in there, everything green dried up, you know, they're much bigger. This is the first seedling crop when I, when I started the imploder, and that's where I noticed the big difference is, you know, I waited the two weeks to, to uh, plant this, and it was too long. You know, I broke a lot of the plants, put them in because they got too big, too fast. I, you know, so my cycle was every, you know, every Thursday I would come in and then I would, I would transplant from the seedling trays into the troughs. And, you know, when I got to this, I'm like, holy cow, these things are a lot bigger than the ones before with the magnetic water, yeah. I mean, so now I'm cutting that down instead of two weeks, I'll do it, you know, roughly 10 days. I didn't expect this to be ready so soon. But on a five week cycle, if I'm taking a week off, that's 10 extra weeks that I'm saving. If I'm getting two extra weeks a year out of the crop, and let's just say I'm doing a thousand units a week, and say I make 50 cents a unit, it already paid for itself.